local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Good morning. Starting off the day just a little bit cooler than where we were yesterday. As you can see, temperatures running some 5 to 10 degrees cooler than where we started yesterday morning at this time. But trust me, this afternoon, that temperature is going to go right back up there once again. As a matter of fact, this afternoon, not only are our daytime highs going to make it into the 90s, but at times it's actually going to feel like the mid to upper 90s this afternoon. So heat is going to be the story of the afternoon, but this morning, the story's visibility is being reduced into a lot of areas we need to pay attention this morning. Paris, Terre Haute, both reporting quarter of a mile visibility, as well as Bloomington, Washington, three quarters quarters of a mile visibility at last check in Robinson. So we do have some areas of patchy, dense fog this morning. There are no advisories that have been issued, but I will tell you, you are going to encounter some fog, and especially before that sun comes up this morning, going to want to use caution as you begin the day today. Now, across our area, we've got some pretty quiet weather settling in for us, but we're going to start to heat up. Out to the west, we see a lot of moisture streaming in, an area of low pressure off the coast of California. California creating quite a bit of wet weather for folks across northern sections of California. Down to the right hand side, bottom corner of your screen, you see the tropical system Fiona. That's actually right now the hurricane that we just saw video of earlier, and it's going to move away from the U.S. coastline. Let's zoom in closer to home. Again, we've got some fog this morning. A few clouds out there through the overnight, but where skies have cleared is where you'll find some of that thicker fog. Now, today we're going to see plenty of sunshine in the afternoon. We're going to watch an approaching frontal boundary that on Wednesday comes into play behind it a big shift in what's happening with our temperatures and the wind direction ahead of it we may see some storms triggered as we roll into Wednesday night there is a chance for some isolated thunderstorms Thursday a quieter day but a much cooler day another possibility of a little rain around here as we go very late Friday night early Saturday more likely that we're going to see rain coming in Sunday that's a a reinforcing shot of some cooler air that's going to produce precipitation. Now let's talk about those temperatures because we've got a warm southerly flow that's going to be coming in here for the next 48 hours. Temperatures very warm. I'm going to call it actually hot because temperatures are going to be quite quite warm out there and above normal. Here comes the cooler air though. We're going to find that settling in Thursday is the first day of fall, and trust me, it's going to feel like that. Friday morning, you're probably going to need a jacket. As we roll through the weekend, a brief warm-up that's reinforced with some cooler air to start next week. Again, the real story isn't rain or thunderstorms. The real story this week is temperatures that are going to bring a big change to the way that it feels. Today, a high in the low 90s, mostly sunny and hot. Tonight, an overnight Night low will fall back down into the upper 60s to around 70, mostly clear skies. And then here comes the change. Wednesday, summer ends. Thursday, fall begins. And we'll get a 20 degree drop in temperatures by Friday morning, a low of around 44 degrees. Folks, it's going to be quite cool out there to end the week. Get ready for the changes. All right. Thank you so much.